You think he's giving them compliments until you realize non means no in French. Non, 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 non. My favorite color, my favorite color is red. Let me see all this red. Why? Because I like blue, like your shirt. That's why. But you just said it was red. No, I didn't. I said it was blue. I know how you did that. How? You folded your hat up and then like pushed it off. Like that? Yeah, you folded your hat. Yeah. So I can fold my hat up that quick. That quick. That quick. Hey. I folded my hat up. Your head just like Hold up. unnormally small like that. under there. That quick. That freaking quick. Are you freaking serious? Hold on. That freaking quick. I'm following you because I'm it's so not playing. Like, look, I put that on my grand. Hold up, put it on my granddad. You see his hat? It's not freaking playing, me, bro. That Have you ever seen a dude just get broken up with? Look what he wants to do that night. He wants to go out drinking. He wants to get smashed. He wants to go find a new chick. And your little simp friends are gonna tell you, "Let's get out, bro. Let's get you some new." bro bro will come youtube chill listen if somebody broke up with you bro just stay in that night sit with that for a minute i want you to know something right now if a woman left me i would be happy i would never go out and abuse myself over a female never i will go get me something good to eat i'll work on maybe some projects i got going on i'll put on a movie or i'll just put on nothing i'll just eat and i'm gonna go to bed i would open the door and i would say bless you baby you you be safe out of them streets all right and she's no longer under my protection she no longer has my words she no longer has my leadership she no longer has my touch she no longer has me and so i'm gonna go on and live my dope life and she's not gonna be on the team no more and i encourage you if a girl breaks it off with you be happy bro let that girl go do what she needs to do where are you going without me Yeah, just follow this path. It's like right next to the parking structure. Okay, wait, are you single? Yeah. Sammy, nice to meet you. Okay. You have really pretty eyes. Okay, wait, I'm just wondering. Do you want to kiss? You're okay? Wait, how can I make that a yes? Maybe later? Guys, if a girl just come up and ask you for a kiss, bro, you better say no. Don't be putting your mouth on no random women. You hear me? Well, man, who am I to talk, though? When I met my wife out, I kissed her the first night. I ain't gonna lie, she... I kissed her. Yeah. I'm guilty of it. So maybe, you maybe if you like a kisser. You know, I don't, you know. But I recommend you don't. Because that usually don't happen like me. You probably get, like, herpes or something in your mouth. Because, you know, they be having that. Be careful, man. But, hey, I'm finna drop 10 of these hats, man. Only 10 will ever be made like this. I want to see if I got 10 true supporters, man. 10 true supporters. Get this first. I just started this channel. I'm on like three months in. You feel me? So y'all gonna get the first job. I just want to see if I got 10 true people, man. Put a one in the comments if you'll be one of the 10. You hear me? One of the 10. Put a one in the comments. When I get enough ones, I'm gonna drop it for y'all, man. Hey, and also don't forget to bless that cash up because they be demonetizing my videos a lot. If you want to see me continue to do these videos, bless that cash up for me. Anything can happen. Just a little donation to help. But hey, let's get into the video, man. Wait, can I get your snack then? Give me something. I mean, honestly, what the f did she expect? Imagine if either of us heard that. It'd have been weird. You'd be like, who's this weird love? If you're gonna do those types of shitty pranks, at least have a bit of game. How old is your daughter? <laughs> your age. My age? How do you know how old I am? <laughs> I don't know, 12? I'm 26! <laughs> what? Does your wife play Call of Duty? No. I don't have one. Correct. That's why I'm playing Call of Duty. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> I sense a stepmom opportunity. Do you date at all? Uh, no, no, I have a girlfriend. Stop it. Get some help. So I'm gonna ask you directly. Yeah. Do you want a divorce? I do want a divorce. I do so want you want to be done? Yeah. I don't care if she sent me back to my club. I just want a peace of mind. She's not giving me the peace of mind. 
I'm doing Dang, it. Dang, bro. He said he don't even care if he go back to the other country. <laughs> he said, I'm done. You can send me back. So you know she was driving him crazy. <laughs> he said, like, I need peace. <laughs> but she was driving him crazy. I'm doing everything for her. You know, I'm not getting that appreciation. You know when somebody do something for you, you give appreciation. That person will want to do more. So you're hearing this directly. He's saying he wants a divorce. And he want appreciation. Are you processing it? Are you receiving that? I'm processing. Yeah. Now she want to cry. So that is it. I told her what I want. I want a divorce in the marriage. Because I can't, I can't live my life like this. He out of there. Yeah, that is it. Now, I don't know, I could be wrong, but what it looks like to me is that he's married her to be able to live in the States for the paperwork because he's saying, I don't care if you send me back to my country. That's how bad it's obviously got. So she's lost that power over him. I can't take these relationships seriously, to be honest. It's like that show, 90 Day Fiance. When you see some old overweight woman marrying some 20 year old African guy, he doesn't want you, he wants the paperwork, darling. And people victimize these types of women, but at the end of the day, they know what's going on themselves. They know the guy wouldn't be interested. It's like when the old rich man marries a 21 year old model. You know she's with him for one thing and that's for the money you know he's with her for her looks you do not owe him anything just because he took you to dinner and you don't owe her by paying for the dinner just because she's a girl <laughs> facts that's 100 percent for sure but honestly i i gotta tell you all the truth but i don't think a woman gotta have give you no cheeks just because you paid dinner first night i don't i think that's asking too much you feel me uh, I don't think us as men depends on why you dating a female, how you met her. Now, like, let's say you took a Tinder date out. I'm pretty sure you're going to expect cheeks for that. You feel me? But if you actually met this girl and you want to meet her, you, you don't even want the cheeks the first night. You feel me? You want a girl that's going to, you feel me? But, well, sometimes you can have, you can get the cheeks the first night and it turn into a relationship. I know people who've been, who did it that way and been long, been together for a long time. You know what I'm saying? So, you never know what can happen, you know? Things happen. You feel me? Why don't you date this girl right here? No. Why not? Do you see this right here? I'm up here. She's more down here. <laughs> she can't get with this right here. No. He's back again. The man, the myth, the legend, big country. I'm a pimp. P I M P. If you don't know, you do now. How do you approach a guy? Approach. Mm. I, I don't. I let them approach me. They do that? Yeah. I guess. I ain't, I ain't even capping, though. And I swear, if y'all don't believe me, you can ask my wife. I'll get on this to, here to tell y'all. You can, uh, I'll get my homeboys too. You can ask all my homeboys. Y'all gonna think, y'all probably think I'm Kevin. But I have never, in my single life, going to the club, I have never approached a woman. They, are, they always, every female I mess with, they approach me. I ain't even Kevin. I go to the club, it's like a countdown. I'm like, around 60 seconds, a female gonna come. And that happens every time. Every time I go went to the club, a female come up to me. And I'm like, bro, I ain't got to, because they gonna come, well, somebody gonna come up to me. So I never took the initiative to go because they always came up to me first. Just like my wife. My wife literally came to me. She came up to me and I ended up getting with her. No, no lie. Every time I don't, I don't even approach a girl in the club, I go. Buy my drink, go sit down, female come up to me every time, bro. I'm not lying to y'all. I swear I ain't capping. Some of y'all probably be like, oh, he can. I'm telling y'all, I get my homeboys on because they seen it firsthand. I'll go get my homeboys to get on the video for y'all, but that's just how I be. Went on a date and not only was he cheap, but he didn't know what half a 30 was. I bet he's glad he didn't pay for the date now when you were filming him and mocking him. Gentlemen, the time for us to honor the order of equality has come. The days of treating people differently <laughs> because of their genders are over. Shawty is a strong, independent woman. She don't need no man. She can open up her own doors, change her own tires, pay her own bills. Next time you sit in a packed out waiting room and a woman walks in looking for an empty seat, don't even think about giving up yours. Those legs she's standing on are strong, independent woman legs. You offering her your seat will only offend her. Next time you see a woman carrying something heavy by herself, <laughs> walk up to her and tell her that she's doing a great job. We love to see strong, independent women. Next time you're driving her home, dropping her off, listen, we don't care if Shawty lives in the hood. Fellas, we can't forget she is a strong, independent woman. She can fend for herself. Remember. If someone tries to mug her, don't get out of your car. It's not safe out there. Let her handle it. She got this. Every time you drop Shawty off from now on, speed off as soon as she closes that car door and takes a couple steps onto the curb. We don't do this for <laughs> ourselves. We do this in the name of equality. Know the game and play it well. <laughs> 
Porque estamos en una discoteca sí. en París y no nos dejan entrar porque dicen Sin que razón. somos demasiado jóvenes. Hemos enseñado el DNI y todo, pero no. No, no, y, y nos miran y hacen... En plan, feas. En plan, españolas. Literal, literal. No, no, que es coño. So basically, that group of Spanish girls have gone to visit Paris. They've gone to one of the top clubs and they've been turned away at the door. They're saying they turn them away because they look a bit too young. And to be honest, when I caught a little glimpse of them, they do look about 12 years old. Not only that, but the clubbing business is fickle. They only let the top girls in. They won't let girls that are overweight in. It's the pretty girls that bring in the business and make them the money. You wrestle? No. What do you do? I don't get any so I got a lot of free time so I lift weights <laughs> oh okay how's that going pretty good you getting any no bitches still but I'm working on it <laughs> why not I focus a lot on my uh, Valorant rank <laughs> Sensational. Hey, what I, I like that though. No, that's how you gotta be. You gotta work on yourself, this man. Work it's on not yourself. Business in my mind. Don't worry about that. The chicks, they gonna come stupid. later, bro. The Point chicks of view, gonna you're come about later. to stay loyal in an unstable relationship. Brother, if you're in an unstable relationship, then get out of it. A lot of y'all been asking me where I've been, and I've been a clown for a man. <laughs> Anyways, the gym's about to go crazy. She's crying. The gym is about to go crazy. <laughs> now, I don't like to see people getting hurt. I don't really know what's happening. I don't know if he's treated her badly or what. Hopefully not. But she's got that crazy look in her eyes, man. She I don't do know what she said at the end, but she looks like she's going to do something crazy. And also, I still fail to understand why people put all their business on TikTok. Would you rather have 100k today or sh your dream go and who's your dream go? I feel like most men live quiet lives of desperation. So I take the 100 grand and have a good time. That 100 grand could be used to do so many more things and just get your end away. I don't give a shit who your dream girl is, how bad you want her. If you pick the second answer, you're a simp. I was supposed to have a first date tonight and he just unmatched me on Bumble. So I guess we're not going to get drinks anymore. No. But I thought I would show you guys my outfit so somebody saw it. Because I know I'll get questions. My dress is from Eloquy, but I got it from Dianco. Mm -hmm. My jacket is from ASOS, and my boots are tight. Let shot. me see what you want. Now I've actually got quite a lot of respect for this girl because we're always saying girls can't take rejection, but this girl took it well. She didn't make. She did take it well. The outfit don't look too bad. Though. I ain't even on careful for her. She she a bigger girl. She not ugly. I ain't finna talk about it. She a bigger girl though. She ain't an ugly big girl, but I know the comments. Y'all y'all mean. Don't be mean in the comments, man. She ain't ugly. She a big girl, but she a bigger girl. You know what I'm saying? Herself out to be the victim, even if the media did try to make her out to be the victim. Take a look at this. I got an email from the Daily Mail and the US Sun asking to use screenshots of a video I posted that's gone viral because they wanted to do a story about it. The email was asking for permission. Not sure why they asked for permission because they posted the story without my permission. <laughs> And what's even no nah, my boy they would have had to drop that bag that that's what it would have been though they, they would bro this is how it would have went if it was me they would have sent me an email asked for permission to use my content i would have sent them an email yeah send that bag i need about how ten thousand then you can use it but y'all ain't finna go get paid off of me and just send me an email come on you tweaking drop that bag give me that's what she should have said easier is the headline like they interviewed me. This is me. I'm curvy and proud, but cruel trolls say I catfished my Bumble date when he stood me up. Um, Chloe, don't know you, but we never spoke. I've never once called myself curvy. I don't use that term. I'm plus size or I'm fat. So as you can hear her say at the end, she doesn't refer to herself as curvy. She even says herself, she calls herself fat. The way the media try and twist things nah, and make bro. people out to be the victim. Even she, they need, she need to go and hit them up. And get that bag dropped on her, you hear me? Nah, you ain't, bro, come on, bro, they gotta pay up, man. If they don't wanna be, is a joke. You saw in the first clip, she was kinda trolling, acting unbothered, showing her outfit, and they're trying to make out that she's proud of being curvy, that people are calling her a catfish, and that she's the victim. And I'll be honest, I ask myself, did she actually take a picture of her whole body, or was it just a selfie? In 2022, if a fat person wants to go out with somebody from a dating app, they have to put full body photos showing exactly what they look like. Mm -hmm. I got so many comments on this video 100%. asking if I was just posting selfies. What the fuck? That's not possible these days. I have to take my profile to all my friends and be like, is this what I look like? I wanna make sure I'm accurately right. Hey fam, she don't look that bad fam. 
I know some of y'all in the in the comments will smack that. You hear me? Let me know in the comments if y'all clap that. No, don't 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 do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. But I don't think she looked too bad. She, I mean, she bigger, but she ain't like. I think her a couple months in the gym, she can slim down really quick if she get with a dude who will help her. It should be a decent looking female. I'm not gonna say nothing bad about it. I don't think she's an ugly female. That's just me. I don't think she's ugly. So you feel me? I think she can. And then she's honest about herself. She was honest about her. You know what I'm saying? She got confidence in herself. I mean, she'll be a good, I'm telling you, she'll be a good uh, addition to somebody. Sitting myself. Hell, I even have a beach picture where my stomach's out and you see my rolls. So he knew what he was getting into. I accurately represent myself on dating apps because I have to as a fat woman. The real joke in this whole situation is the woman that wrote that article, Chloe Morgan. You're a fucking muppet. As a matter of fact, there's only uh, one place Chloe Morgan belongs. She belongs to the streets. <laughs> Hey, I rock with it, man. One day I go hit her up in her inbox. I'm telling you, you go help her get in the gym or whatever. Make her, make her a ten. You hear me? Oh, she might mess around and leave though. But uh, hey, see you guys next video, man. Let's get it. <laughs>